Hi and welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. In this video, we'll have a look at some of the changes after you update your phone to Android 2.1. If you haven't updated yet, please watch the software update video for information on how to do this. Android 2.1 lets you do so much more with your phone. For example, instead of three home screens, there are now five to fit all your favorite content. X10 now features an improved custom keyboard with updated text editing functions and with the faster and improved Timescape experience, you'll have all your Facebook, Twitter and regular contacts in one convenient place. Want to add multiple email accounts? No problem, you can now have as many as you want. Turn on the camera and shoot a video in HD quality. Add live wallpapers to personalize your phone even more. Enjoy a wider variety of applications from Android Market. And last but not least, Use the new and improved Backup and Restore application and you'll never have to worry about losing your data. It's all possible with Android 2.1. Let's take a look at some of the new features in your phone. The first thing you will notice after the update is that your lock screen has changed. Slide the speaker to the left to set your phone to silent mode or slide the lock to the right to unlock your phone. You are now presented with your new desktop. Let's take a look at the bottom of the screen. You will notice that the bottom bar is gone and has been replaced by an icon. Tap the icon to open the application screen where you find all your applications. Another change is that instead of three home screens that you had before, you now have five. You can drag on the desktop just as before to reach them. Or you can use the dots next to the application screen icon to quickly move from screen to screen. Tap the dots to go to the right or left. Press and hold on the dots and a preview of your screens will pop up. Simply tap the screen you want and you will go there in an instant. Now it's time to have a look at how calling has changed. When receiving a phone call, you will see a new slider. To decline the call, drag the red phone to the left. To accept the call, drag the green phone to the right. When in a call, you will notice there are easier to reach icons for the most commonly used functions. Tap the contacts icon to reach the phone book. Tap the speaker icon to turn on and off speaker phone. Tap the mute icon to disable and enable the microphone. And finally, Tap the dial pad icon to open the keypad for use with tone dial services. Previously, you could hang up by pressing the power key. This has changed. The power key now turns off and on the screen. To end the call, tap the end call button. Thank you for taking the time to view this film. You'll find more information about your phone by visiting the Xperia X10 support zone, where you can improve your user experience.